Hello and welcome to another Let's Play of a Sherlock Holmes game. Yes, I decided to cave in and um, I basically bought all the other games on Steam. So, well, I have to run them on Fraps, so forgive me if we have any lagging issues. But I thought I'd just start off with a quick one. Well, hey, which is uh, the Sherlock Holmes and the Mystery of the Persian Carpet. Oh, yes, we're, d we're delving into the big ones here. Let's have a look at the options. Uh... Time mode. We'll try time mode. Yeah, let's be. Let's be dangerous. Let's get crazy. Let's get nuts. Uh, play, shall we? New game. Easy puzzles. Uh, what should we go for? Um, let's play detective mode. London, the 7th of August, 1896, 221 B Baker Street. The summer is definitely stifling, Holmes. Sorry, this summer is decidedly stifling, Holmes. Why don't you take a holiday in the country, Watson? <laughs> Bitch slaps. Oh dear, is it going to take this long? An excellent idea, Holmes. Will you accompany me? Brokeback Mountain music starts playing. I think I shall answer this note from Scotland Yard instead. Oh, 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 Sherlock Holmes is a dick. Scotland Yard? They, they tried to take you away from me. Do you recall that we received a plea for help yesterday and we ignored it? Because we're bastards. Yes, to resolve the mysterious murder of a poor, miserable painter. No suspects, no leads. But you said that you don't have time for this type of business. I thought that was his business. But I have just learned that the young man was found rolled up in a remarkable carpet. See, if it had been an unremarkable carpet, it would have been left alone. Remarkable? An expensive Persian carpet that had been stolen. And... It changes everything, Watson. Will you accompany me? My dear Watson, let's, uh, let's acquaint ourselves with this affair. We can go to the scene of the investigation and pass Scotland Yard as well. Level 1. To continue playing, click on the thing at the top right hand corner. Okay, let's have a look at this. Oh dear, Fraps is being slow already. This is not a good sign. Let's see. In each scene, you must collect the object. Click with the mouse in order to collect it. Use the cursor to transform to a magnifying glass. You have a magnify view. The cursor also turns into a gear to signify an action. Feel free to use one or as many tools to act in such areas. You have help in the form of hint buttons. When you click on it, one of the ob hidden objects is highlighted. To read this letter, I need to stick all pieces together. To start the puzzle, just drag the torn piece of paper. To return to the cell scene, you're playing the time lens as you're not officially... Oh, I see. You can pause the game by pressing the escape key on your keyboard. The little gear icon in the combination is completed in the scene itself. It turns golden upon completion. The puzzle piece remain... Okay, okay. Let's go, shall we? Saving. Click on crime report file to examine the crime. Here is the crime report that we have been given. Read the text and select the words that connect to the items indicated below. Click on the words to connect to the items below. Rolled up in a carpet. Whoa. Continue the investigation on your own, Holmes. Ho ho ho. Blood. Uh. Where's the word? Where's the word knife? Weapon? Yes! A new witness gave his statement. Go to Scotland Yard to read it. It's testimony. Confirm the witness's words by clicking on the green button. Mr. Flatham, 35 years old, night watchman at the cement works. I always start my rounds at 6 o'clock in the evening. I had already checked that room twice. I already take. I always take good care because that room had been home to vagabonds at one point. So my dog smelled the intruder as soon as he got near the place. I was standing on the third round... Round? 
when my Toby started to growl. As I ran towards the room and saw the carpet, I thought to myself, this is my lucky day. I unrolled the carpet. By Jove, there was blood. Blood, not even thick yet. I didn't even faint. Oh, watch out, we got a badass over here. I should tell you, and I did what I had to do. I ran to find a policeman at the station. It was around midnight, I think. Okay. Collect all objects displayed at the bottom, okay. What are we looking for? I think this just involves basically... There's... Oh, hello. Take the matches from the inventory. Use the matches. Ooh, hello. Ah. Take the paper. Click on the puzzle item. Okay, reconstruct the message by placing the pieces. Take a piece, right clicking rotate. Right okay. Let's work from the edges. I mean, of course, after defeating Sherlock Holmes, after, you know, c catching Jack the Ripper, this is, of course, going to be a piece of cake. And it's not as if I use a walkthrough for every single thing there. <clears throat> to Gordon. There we go. Mr. Gordon, thank you for your help. I have deducted it from your rent. Thus, you still have £7.50 pence to settle. This is Petticoat. We, know, we now know where this unfortunate plagiar was living. Use the hint button to highlight hidden art. Okay. Where the fuck am I supposed to find that? Or just randomly. Oh, hello. Green cloth carpet. Well played, Holmes! Level completed. Congre your incredible talents of analysis, just clicking randomly. Have once again made sense of all the clues, but for my part, I am no further ahead. Of course, you're Watson. This, this business seems simple, Watson, but I already sent something out of the ordinary in it. Shall we see what Mrs. Petticott testimony will tell us? Click on the next witness to read their testimony. Jesus, what's that? Come on, fraps. Testimonies. Mrs. Pitticott, 60 years old landlady. What a tragedy! I s such a handsome young man. I rented him a small room. Wait, here's the key. He had many financial worries, so we had an arrangement. He took care of my gardens, for example. Yes, if that isn't a euphemism, I don't know what is. Found a new location to examine. Access it through the map. Gordon's Chamber. Click to zoom in on me. What we're we looking for. Is it? How the hell are we supposed to figure this out without being told? Um, sponge. Would there be a sponge over here. Water. Red paints. Oh yes. Now where's the sponge likely to be? Just keep clicking. Keep clicking homes. Oh, it's over there. This painting was painted with watercolours. Curious. I don't think it's that curious, Holmes. Find the hidden painting by using the moistening paint brush to soften the paint and the sponge to lift off the superficial layer. Uh, yeah, this is my usual level of skill with art. 
Ooh. There appears to be a lady there. Yes, definitely a lady. Or uh, either that or it's Raiden. Major, what are you doing here? Do do do. Yep, my skill with a paintbrush here. Just destroy everything it touches. Now the question is, why would he hide a painting of a woman? They're fairly common in terms of classical portraits. Does he does he think that he's somehow better than everyone else? Do do do. Ooh, hello. A woman's portrait it is no longer in doubt. A love story. Well played, Holmes. Click on the map to explore a new place. In the garden. Okay. What are we looking for? Garden knife. Ooh, what's that? Ashes. A menacing letter. Hmm. Ah, there's the knife. Footprint. It's meant to be a footprint around here somewhere. Garden key. Oh, I see. We need the key to open that. How do we go back? How do we zoom out of here? Ah! I knew about that already, what? Help! Oh shit. Resume. Oh fuck, I'm stuck. How do I get out of here? No. <laughs> I'm just using up all my things. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Um. Okay, be back at this in a second. <laughs>